Okay, so once I got the case open, I can take some of these out. I'll show you what those are for in a second. I have a parts box. I keep stuff like staples, stapler, pens, um, some care instructions, extra airbrush parts like needles and nozzles. I love these fans. <laughs> I use these to cool my air compressor and cool me. I put it around the table, blow it in my face, or blow the airbrush overspray away from my face, which keeps you healthy in the lungs. Very important. These are like $10 on Amazon. Okay, the case is empty. I do have uh, some spare paint and that stays in the case. I always have an extra bottle of every color. All right, so the first thing I would do is I would start by wrapping these hoses around the airbrushes. It's also very important, like I don't usually, let me show you something. I don't usually paint with these little air caps on here because I like having the needle exposed so we can pick the dry paint off the tip as we're painting. But for traveling, uh, it's very nice to put those on, especially for TSA. If they're gonna search the case, you don't want them like grabbing their skin with that pointy needle, it's pretty dangerous. So it also keeps them from getting bent when you're traveling. All right, so I got that in there. Oh, come on now. Um, that would be the first thing I'd put in. Oh, let me wrap this main hose here a little better. We're going to put this in the case first. And I try to push it towards me as much as it goes. Uh, next, I will take my easel light and just sort of grab some of that cord, that loose cord. I'm going to put it behind the easels, uh, the airbrushes, just like that. Um, I always let my team know to carry a towel with them, it's just a terry cloth towel for cleaning up messes. I'll put that right over the airbrushes. My hat stand goes with me for every gig. I want to put that right there. The easel prop rod plate, that goes right behind the bottles. Along this wall. Okay, just slide it in there. These are the channel for the uh, t-shirt board. I'm going to stick that right on top of this little rail. It actually fits there perfectly. This is the t-shirt board. Put that right there. Now normally I have, I guess I don't have one to show you, but I have a board that's similar to this. It's like an A-frame and I have all my samples on there. So that'd be my sample display, about the same size. So that too would go right there. And then this is the easel itself. This is the hinge. It's basically just a, a duct tape hinge, right? So I want to have that pointing up. And the only reason why is in transport, if it's on the bottom, it's going to wear on the bottom of the case when you're transporting it. Eventually that tape's gonna get all busted up. You can easily replace it, obviously, it's just tape. But if you want it to last, put it with a hinge facing up. I have, oops, <laughs> next I have this foam. This is not to be thrown away, this is for packing. I'm gonna put it right in between, yeah, it's a tight fit, right in between the easel and the uh, airbrush frame. This little fan can fit right in the corner over here. And another piece of foam here that's going to go on the top it's going to go under the frame tuck it in and then push it in so now the frame can't slide either side to side or back in front everything's packed in there pretty good lastly you can put other things on top here like another fan if you wanted or a roll of duct tape um, obviously I'm gonna put this box here and then just make sure these are tucked in when you close it It should just click right in. Tight fit, right? And secure it. When you're flying with these, don't ever lock the, the latches because they're going to cut the locks off anyway. They want to see what's inside. So it's fine just to travel like that. So that's it. What's well, considered one checked bag. And then I have another one that I'm going to show in a minute uh, for my air compressors.